What's up guys, this is iTweets here. And if you guys didn't hear, the Pongu jailbreak as well as Cydia was updated yesterday. But I didn't report it because a whole lot of people were reporting that it was actually putting their device into a boot loop. So I didn't want you guys to accidentally upgrade and then go into a boot loop. So they've actually released another update this morning, just a few hours ago. So I want to go ahead and put up a video show you guys how to upgrade. And it's extremely simple. If you've already jailbroken and have Cydia on your device, then it's very, very simple. If you haven't, then I'll put links in the description below on how to jailbreak as well as how to get that Cydia icon on your device. So once you've done both of those, then all you need to do is just open up Cydia. So once you open up Cydia and it finishes reloading, you'll see two changes right here in the notification. So once this is done reloading, we'll tap on that. And then we have our Cydia substrate and our Pongu jailbreak right there. So what this upgrade actually does, the Cydia substrate is going to allow you to not have to respring your device after you reboot it in order to use your tweak. So if you guys are jailbroken, you noticed if you reboot your device, your tweaks won't work. You actually have to respring your device and then Cydia substrate will take effect and then you can actually use your tweaks. Now you don't have to do that anymore after this update. Now for the Pongu jailbreak, what this does is actually fix that incredibly annoying Safari issue where it would continuously reload your web page and basically make Safari just not work at all. And it also is gonna fix sending pictures in your messages apps, which is another huge fix that I'm glad that they addressed. So all you need to do is just double check, make sure you do not have a passcode on your device. So you can see right here, if I go ahead and turn off my device, just do this right now and then swipe over, make sure you don't have a passcode. If you have a passcode, you wanna turn that off. So now we're gonna go back here into Cydia and then we're going to upgrade and then you can see both of those upgrades right there. So we're just gonna tap confirm and then it's going to upgrade Cydia substrate and the jailbreak. All right, so now we're gonna reboot the device and this is why we wanna make sure our touch ID is not enabled because it will put it into a boot loop. So we're going to hit the reboot. All right, so now we're actually resprung. So if we slide to unlock, a way to check this is to see if our tweaks work. So if we slide over, you can actually see that I have Cylinder installed on my iPhone 6 Plus and it's working just fine. I didn't have to respring or anything like that. So definitely check this out. I highly recommend updating your device, updating Cydia Substrate as well as the Pongu Jailbreak. All right, guys, if you have any questions, be sure to leave those in the comments below. And as always, if you want to stay up to date with everything Apple as well as everything Jailbreak, make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, until next time, peace.